Hey friends, I am leaving to Europe in seven days. <laughs> so excited. So I wanted to do a video to talk a little bit about how to save money so you can travel. So I'm not going to waste any time. Let's just get into it. So I'm going to give you nine tips today on how you can save money so that you can travel. Number one is public transportation. So I take the bus to work and my coworker um, pays parking at work. She pays $230 a month and that's a lot of money. And if you add that up over a year, that comes out to $2,760. For a year, for my public transportation, I pay $240 and that's a big difference. $2,760 is my trip to Europe. And these, these expenses may not seem like a lot, but they really are because over time it's gonna add up. So that's number one. Number two, I have a roommate. I save a lot of money by having a roommate. So I live in Hawaii and the average cost for a one bedroom apartment or a studio is anywhere between a nice one, a decent one, um, between 1200 and 1500 So let's just say I had a one bedroom apartment and I was paying $1,300 a month. So instead of paying $1,300, I pay $730 a month in rent. So right there I'm saving, how much am I saving? $570 I'm saving a month by having a roommate. So um, I'm able to save $570 a month. If you multiply $570 a month times 12, it comes out to $6,840. That's a lot of money. <laughs> that's unreal. Like if I, I mean, that's crazy how much money that is. That's a lot of traveling that I could use with that money. And I put it to good use, let me tell you. So it's definitely worth it to get a roommate. I mean, for me, I'm more of the loner type and I do enjoy living on my own, but if I'm gonna save that much money, then I'm gonna have a roommate. <laughs> it's totally worth it. Anyways, um, tip, so that's number two is have a roommate. Tip number three is don't be buying Starbucks every single day. That is that's a that adds up a lot. Um, so if you can just drink coffee at work, like that saves me a lot of money. It's like five bucks a day that I save. Um, number four, um, my entertainment. I on the weekends I um, do free things. I go hiking. I go to the beach. I exercise, I go to the store, I read. I do mostly free things. I don't do a lot of things that cost money, but I'm not really sacrificing anything because I enjoy these things. I enjoy being outdoors. So I save money that way. Number five, I I had do a, I found a free yoga class. <laughs> Yep, and I love it. And so there's always free events going on. So you can start finding many things to do if you just take some time to research what is going on in your city. There's always free events. So look into that. Um, where was I? Number six. Sorry, I have my list here. <laughs> Otherwise, I may get off track. So I'm keeping myself on track with my list. So number six is happy hours. I love me some happy hour. Yes, she does. <laughs> I love it. I mean, there's half off on drinks, half off on food. There's usually live entertainment. I love it. Number seven is I'm more of a minimalist. Less is more. So I really think twice about all my purchases. I really just put thought, like, do I really need this or do I just want this? And if I just want it, then I don't do it. And it's easy for me to do that when you're going on a vacation. It's like you know that your money is, is going somewhere that's going to be an investment in you when you get to travel and experience and have that education of seeing so many different sites and meeting new people and getting a new perspective. It's totally worth it. So some people say that I sacrifice a lot, but to me I don't think it's that big of a sacrifice because it's worth it. Um, let's see, where was I? 
Um, number eight is pay off your debt. So with all these savings that you will be saving, if you start doing public transportation, if you get a roommate, all that money that you um, can start saving, if you have credit card debt, put it straight to the principal. Because if you just keep paying the interest, you're never gonna you're never gonna get out of debt. You're just gonna be paying interest for the rest of your life. And it's important to get down your debt so that you can use your money the way that you want to use your money. And having money in your life, it it gives you options for one, it gives you options, and for two, it just gives you leverage over your own life. And I'll give you a prime example. Um, in 2014, I graduated. I'm kind of older, so I graduated late, but nevertheless, better late than ever. So I graduated in 2014, and I had been at my previous job for a really, really long time. And at that point, I was really stuck in my life. Um, I mean, I graduated, and in 2015, I was desperately trying to figure out where I was going as far as my career is concerned. And I really had no direction, and I didn't know what I wanted. And I kept just trying to figure it out and figure it out and figure it out. And finally, I was just like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done trying to figure it out. All I knew is that I didn't want to be at that job where I was at any longer. But the idea of me staying at the job was scarier than the idea of me just quitting and just trying something new. So thankfully, because I'm a good little saver and I have money in my savings, I had options. And so what I did is I put, I moved out of my studio I was living in, I put all my stuff in storage that I wanted to keep. And I gave my two week notice to my job and I quit. And I was able to go traveling for several months. So I went to Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, Thailand, Indonesia, and Japan. I was traveling for a total of three months. And um, once I came back home to Hawaii, I live in Hawaii, once I came back home, it took me another eight months for me to find a job that I really wanted. So total, I was not working for 11 months. And I would have never been able to have done that if I didn't have money saved in my account. And when you're living paycheck to paycheck and you don't have a savings in your account, it really limits the options that you have in your life. So it's really important just to save as much as you can so that one, you can do what you want with your money and quit being a slave to it. And if you don't stop and take control of your finances, it's your finances will always have a grip on you and you're never gonna have control over it. So it, I know it takes a little bit of effort for you to do it, but believe me, it's worth it. So worth it. So I finally, um, like I said, after eight months, I found a job that I really enjoy and I love it there. I really enjoy it and I'm so grateful that I was able to have the opportunity of, of being able to travel and have that freedom. Because um, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to, you know, find my way. Because what happened is when I was traveling, I, w I wasn't so focused on trying to figure it out. I was just enjoying myself. And when I came home, I was just relaxed. And I was like, you know, just focused on enjoying the moment. And eventually it all worked itself out. So, yes. Okay, so the ninth and final tip I have is to... Um, track all of your expenses so that you know where your money is going to and the app that I use to do this on my phone I love it it makes it so easy and it's so um, clear to see where your money is going and the name of the app that I use is called moneyfy moneyfy so if you download that app all you it like tracks everything for you all you have to do is um, put in your expense so every single time I spend money I put in um, I put it in my phone and on Moneyfy, I'll basically it spreads it out and it'll show you what percentage of um, your money, like where you spend it, if it's clothing, if it's shopping, food, it will show you exactly where all your money is going and that way once you know where your money is going, you can start learning how to cut back how you can save money by cutting back on the things that you don't need. So that's really important is tracking your expenses. So I definitely recommend MoneyFi. I'm sure there's lots out there, other ones, other apps that are also easy to use, but that's the one that I've 
um, have been using and I, I just recently discovered that one, but I love it. I love seeing where my money is going. So it's important to save money. For me, it's important so that I can travel because I love to travel. So I hope those um, pointers help you out and maybe help you to save. If so, let me know what you think. Thank you.